This is usually when the heavies come out to play. I thought we were supposed to fight something dangerous. Oh, hi, there it is, over there. That, it's tiny. Where's that challenge in that? It killed a warden. Watch yourself. I suppose I should have known better than to trust the Warwolf to engage in diplomacy. Grimnir now had the support of all the Giants. An unprecedented alliance, an unstoppable force. Even with one of Sindri's hammers in their possession, what hope had the Wolves of Midgard now? No, it cannot be. As if our fortunes had not proved barren enough, now the fates have unfurled their final banner. Ceres, what do you see? The Roman and bishops remain resolute in their desire to bring both Albion and the Viking clans under imperial rule. The Bishop of Skye has besieged the castle at Caerleon with all his remaining troops. Alas, that is not our only worry. My mother reports that the Dwergar are on the move. They, too, are heading for Albion. Will Grindel aid us against Simul and her allies? She has no love for her neighbors, the Etin. 
She will warn me when a gate from Dwegheim opens. I spare the Troll Witch's life, and all she can provide is a warning? That's my mother you're talking about. Careful, Half-Troll. I am still your chieftain. Control your temper, child. Save your ire for the battle to come. Merthin shall use his magic against the Dwergar when they come, but he will need your aid if we are to succeed. So, let me get this straight. I have to fight against an Imperial Legion, another crazy bishop, Simul's Etin Horde, and a swarm of her Dwergar allies. The warriors of Albion call you the Giant Slayer, and declare it has been foretold you will save them. I, for one, believe them. You must attain victory, for if you do not, it will be the end of all worlds. Ragnarok will come, and even the gods will not be safe. We must aid Albion. If they fall to the Empire, our doom is sure to follow. Let me solve your wounds. Let me solve your wounds. Once again, you are the real What can I make you? Imperium must fall. Go and do everyone a favor and keep them. Kick their asses. You need new armor. More of this excitement. My stomach churns just thinking about what's happening in Albion. The Imperial blockade will make it difficult to reach Kelly on my chieftain. If anyone can break through, it's you. Seymour's horde of Etin have begun their assault upon Albion, rendered nearly unstoppable with the aid of the Dark Alphar's magic. Yet, if Merthin's sorcery could clear the skies before sunset, the Dwergar's flesh would become stone, and there might yet be hope. Though, even if we win the battle against Seymour, what hope of overcoming the Imperial Legion, when I have already seen that the Bishop of Skye cannot fall to any Viking's hand? How can we hope to be victorious at Caerleon, against a foe I already know we are powerless to defeat? Thou canst. Perhaps we should endure after all. If thou canst hold the gatehouse but a while longer, Merthin might yet enchant our fortifications. Bring it on! Charge! 
The bishop yeah. commands it! <clears throat>